Hi, in this video I'll be showing you how to make some fuming nitric acid. You want to use 50 grams of potassium nitrate and 60 milliliters of sulfuric, 98% sulfuric acid. Potassium nitrate will react with the sulfuric acid to produce nitric acid and potassium bisulfate. This is dangerous, please do not breathe in the fumes and make sure you do not wear nitrile or latex gloves. You want to dry your potassium nitrate in the oven for several minutes or hours just to make sure there is no water to get as high as concentration as possible. Normal, um, uh, sorry, normal fuming nitric acid is around 70% 70, uh, 70 concentration plus. You want to use a dropping funnel to drip the sulfuric acid into the potassium nitrate slowly to um, get as much of it reacted instead of it decomposing to get a bare healed. Uh, that little piece there is just to use so I don't get any potassium nitrate um, stuck on the joint because you want to seal your joints with sulfuric acid just a little bit to make sure um, no fumes escape. Load your dropping funnel with sulfuric acid, 98%, and drip it slowly into the potassium nitrate. Here's what the setup looks like. There is the sulfuric acid reacting with the potassium nitrate. I've covered everything with tin foil so the light does not decompose my nitric acid. My precious. Right, there's the setup. After that, after you added all your sulfuric acid, you want to set up a distillation, simple distillation. And I'm not using a thermometer because the thermometer adapter, the little seal, um, seems to not like the um, the fuming nitric acid. Uh, you can have your receiving flask under ice. That would be nice, but I just didn't have a clamp to hold those two joints together. It comes over as a yellow, uh, yellowish liquid because of nitrogen oxides dissolved into the acid. You want to use very cold water to get as much as a better yield as possible. And there is the nitric acid. It's around 20 milliliters from 50 grams of potassium nitrate. As you're reacting it with a glove and steel wool, this is it reacting with a piece of a glove. Nitric acid is a really strong oxidizer, so it tends to. Um, really help out fires I guess and as you can see in this clip I keep on dropping the, f the nitric acid onto the glove and you can see the bright flashes of a light and the intensity of the flame increasing as you can see it fumes a lot this, that pipette is only measured to be a milliliter, uh, yeah, a milliliter, so it doesn't take much to ignite the glove. Um, the green nitrile gloves, the green, like the industrial ones they give to the workers to use, it does react with it, but not as violently as the thin nitrile gloves, the normal ones. It does react, but it seems to not go all the way through. But